can you take us through that? It's good for other people out there who might be trans, just to know your story. As so I, um, as I went through my adolescence, you know, I, I, I thought maybe I'd just be a kind of transvestite, but I didn't really understand that either because that information wasn't out there either. Um, and it was probably only into my early 20s that when I was ready in the middle of my cycling career that I understood um, that I was transsexual. Right. And obviously, in a kind of professional sporting world, that wouldn't go down too well. Yeah. So, um, then I decided that I would deal with being transsexual, and, and it, you know, if I was, or I'd find out, I'd get met, I'd get professional help. And um, I decided to wait to end my career to deal with it. So I probably didn't really deal with it professionally until I was probably in my mid thirties. Right. Just because I didn't, there, there was no in, internet, so the, then. I didn't have all the information that I needed, but I would come across, you know, articles and, and things written in magazines and books, um, kind of describing the things that I was feeling. Um, and that kind of reinforced that I needed help with it. But I didn't really go and seek professional help until I reached a really low point in my life where I decided, all right, I have to do something. I'm not functioning as a person. Right. And um, so then I, you know, from my button, probably... I decided I'd have to do something from my mid-30s, but it took me until the end of my 30s and, and the beginning of my 40s to actually, you know, make the step and decide to transition and, and see how that was going to go. But at no point during that um, transition was I sure of how far I was going to take it, you know, yeah. where I was going to stop and that kind of spectrum. Yeah. And so that's quite... You know, that's quite interesting that there's no set kind of way to transition and there's nowhere on that spectrum that you have to feel like you go have to go beyond. Right. You don't have to go to the end of it. You can stop, you know, where anywhere you want where you feel comfortable. And I think that's quite important to, to, to say to people that, you know, it's your life and, and you have to feel comfortable with yourself. And if you're not comfortable with t taking the next step in that kind of transition journey, then stay where you are and just you know, be gender fluid or whatever you want to call it and, yeah. and, and stay with that as long as you're happy and contented.